This piece really caught my eye, and it just happens to be Spring by Nancy Labrette Einstein. Nancy uses recycled objects, including beads, popsicle sticks, really whatever she can get her hands on, to create her sculptures and interesting photographs. I feel the need to create. It's really interesting to me that my pieces are so intricate and I have so much patience for them, but in real life, I don't have that kind of patience. And it allows me to express and show my insights onto a surface. My medium is sort of complex. I build sculptures for lack of a better term. They're mixed media, they're assemblage. They use a lot of repurposed materials. I have all kinds of stuff that people give me. When you go in the studio, you'll see there's boxes and bins of it. My husband sometimes wants to kill me because of what I end up coming home with. But it's utilizing these things in a different way and taking them out of the context that they were originally conceived for and in and putting them in a new context. I think that at the bottom of all of it is that people walk through life for the most part and don't see what's around them. But I think that there's a good design element that somehow touches every single one of us in one form or another, whether we're cognizant or not. And I think more and more today, we're surrounded by things that are well designed. And so what I end up doing is taking it out of the context and bringing it into another dialogue. Sometimes somebody brings me something and it's really great and I want to use it and see what's going on with it and take it to a different place. Other times, it's something that's going on in my head that I want to translate onto it. So I did a series, and they were the seasons. And what I wanted out of each piece was for the viewer to look at it and to see, oh yeah, that's winter, that's spring, that's fall, that's summer. It makes sense to me. So that was the problem involved in it. Another time it'll be a coloration. So there could be one that I wanted to use browns in because color is a predominant thing that's going on in my pieces. Brownies are not just for eating was the one I was referencing when I wanted to make something that was brown um, because it, it has really such nice depth to it. This one is Diva, and that one was directly related to the DSO. The black triangular pieces with the little white on them is the string section, actually. So it's really sort of representational in a way. The piece with the big computer board in it is everything works out just fine in the end. It was a struggle to get that piece done and it's like I think that if part of the aging process of life is that you know like in the end it's gonna be okay you're gonna come out of it one way or in the other and it's the experience and the making of it that's all part of the learning process so it all works the piece that I'm working on there now is a piece that I came up with when we were up north and I really felt the need to like put this down in my own way, in my own terms, and see what, what would happen with it. So it's about halfway done, and it's at this decision-making point. Everything's always a decision-making point, but as you get closer to the end of the process, it's more critical to the piece itself. You know, are you gonna go with this and what does this do in relationship to over here and the coloration changes things. I have a lot of fun with the photographs and their names as well as the sculptures. I think the parts of the piece sometimes suggest certain things and that's how it goes. The photography is really 
An interesting thing that Alan and I started doing, he is a sports photographer primarily as well as he does business shoots, corporate stuff. So we started doing this and he shoots them from his perspective and then I ask him to please shoot them from my perspective and then we go back and forth on it. Then we come back and we edit them and go through them and we build up a storage of shots. And there are layers and layers of different images that are combined to one final image. So they share a great deal with the sculptures in that there are layers on layers of media. They all happen to be just photos. I love that what it does interacting with each other and the dialogue that it commutes to the viewer and to each other. Each piece that you lay down interacts with the next piece in a certain way and there's a certain give and take. Art is a translation of humans on a different level communicating with each other. So there's communication within the piece to bring about an entity, just as there's communication with people to bring about conversation. So I think that all the pieces bring in the viewer to join in the conversation and understand the dialogue that's happening all the way around.